Hi everybody, it's Julie. Today we're making our x-ray pocket and tag. X-ray pocket and tag. So um, we are going to be building a an x-ray. <laughs> Um, and so that when you look through that, you'll, the tag is actually what the, is going to be seen. I'm going to be using the vellum again. So, um, so I am going to use one of the, uh, the printed pieces. And so we can go ahead and cut that cut that out. I'm going to use, this is the Tim Holtz Wildflower Vellum. I have a few of these in my stash. And so you saw that I used some of this yesterday. Um, so there we go. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and we'll cut this piece off also. And, okay, so there's a couple of ways to go ahead and get the x-ray piece. One of the things you could do is if you have a window, an envelope window, you could go ahead and take your envelope apart, put your vellum in there. You can, um, you know, if you have a tea bag, or tissue paper or something you want to make this so it isn't just plain see-through that it has that muted look like an x-ray okay so um so i'm going to use this one and then i need an outer area okay so this is what i'm going to use for my outside let's see if i fold this in half now so we'll go ahead and we'll fold it okay so i'm going to pinch and fold this is a piece uh that was left over from the policy envelope that i made earlier this month and so um yeah so there you go we're going to go ahead and just do this and um, then for this one, this is going to be my actual pocket. Now, if I want to, um, to build it and make it bigger, um, we can go ahead and add something else to the edge here. But what I'm doing here is I'm going to make an x-ray slide. Okay, so I'm going to make an x-ray slide. Um, and... I'm thinking. Okay, so I have this from my Happy Planner. Um, if you do not have something that you can go ahead and use um, as a punch or a die to cut it out, I'm going to show you here in just a second another way that we can do this. And so I have it just like that. Oops, you might have moved there. Um, sorry about that. Okay. Okay, and then I'll have some little tags that I can use. Okay, so um, you can also use your X-Acto knife. Um, this is from... Okay, and you know what, let's go to the wrong side. Okay, so you can go ahead and figure out where you want to, to be able to cut it. These, this playing card has rounded edges. Um, I won't be going for the rounded edges probably, but, um, I can go ahead and start at the top. Whoa. Come down to the bottom. I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised that happened. Okay. I got a lot of stuff going on. 
I'm shaking like a <laughs> crazy person here, but need to get this video done and up while I figure out what we're going to do. Okay, so we'll start over here. And we come across. My son just left. He was here and enjoyed his visit very much. He has some strenuous stuff that he has to take care of today. And um, so, yeah, so a little worried, a little worried on the mama front here. Um, so, yeah, so there you could go ahead and that could be the, um, where you get your, your x-ray. Now, if you have like tissue paper, something that you can see through that is going to give you a muted look to what is going to go behind. We're going to put a butterfly behind, okay, on the tag. Remember, this is a two-piece element. And um, if I could just stop shaking, that would be really cool. Okay, so um, for my pocket, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put this through. Okay, so that is all we have to do is we need to um, to put our our piece in here. I'm going to use my comic shimmer cosmic shimmer because it will hold the vellum okay we'll put this in lay that down we'll fold this over Oh, I forgot to put glue on this side. <sighs> okay, and I'm going to glue all the way over to the edge. Okay? Okay, so that is... That is my where I'm going to read my x-ray. Okay. <laughs> okay, and that is my pocket. Um, I think I'll go ahead and stitch around it just because I've been stitching around some of the items and now that I'm home I can stitch around the ones I'm making here so I'll be right back okay I'm so stitching. this is my base for my pocket plus stitching and um, I can actually have it go in either direction so um, I do notice that I have a little bit sticking out here at the top so I'm gonna trim that down so I can use either side <laughs> that one's pretty messy um, okay so I have this that I'm, I'm going to use as a tag. It will just fit in there. Okay, just fit in there. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to flip it over. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. Now, um, one of the things that I need to do is I need to distress. If I can find my little distressing tool. If I can't, I will be using my fingernails. <laughs> so. Okay. Okay. So, um... I have somewhere I have the Tim Holtz distressing tool. I just want to distress the edge. So, um, yes, distressing can, you know, can be ink, but um, for the distressing, you're either ripping or you're making it look distressed, okay? For the D under the ABCs, the aged bling, all that, you can rip it, okay? You can distress it with your fingernail. And I'm just going to do the top. And I'm going to pull a couple 
the pieces as well. And so there I have my distressed look. Okay, so we'll do that. And we'll do that. Okay. And so, and then this can come back down in. Okay. So I need to get an idea of where where my butterfly needs to go to be able to be seen. I think I'm going to use the darker butterfly. Um, actually, if we use a, if we use one of these butterflies, let's use possibly that one. Um, so these are from my kit that the emeralds got. We'll be using that on Wednesday at um, one o'clock. I'll be using the embellishment kit that the um, the emeralds got in March. So I have their April kit or piece. That's my April kit. Okay, so it's peach. It has. There were different color frames. Everybody got different color frames, um, but that is the April. I don't see my March kit. I'm gonna have to better find. Oh, here, here it is. I, better, I was gonna say I better find it before tomorrow. Okay, so there. That's what we'll be using along with digitals, and that will be live tomorrow. So I do need a dear Julie Julie digital in this. Um, this uh, part and so I have sewing on here um, that counts as one thing and then on here let's see if we've got I'm thinking it might be kind of cool to put some of this tape behind the butterfly so that maybe it stands out a little better so I'm gonna do that so this is some of the tape from Lowe's. And we're going to go ahead and take the back off. It's exciting because you have the back that you can use for something as well as the white part that sticks down. Remember, this is my favorite product from 2023. And so again, um, it will make it easier to see the butterfly through the X-ray window okay then I'm going to add the dear Julie Julie butterfly and that one came from the uh, butterfly field notes digital kit it comes with a page of butterflies in a variety of sizes and so we're just going to go ahead and glue that down and that is our dear Julie Julie digital so we have on this um, tag so far we have the tape and we have our dear julie julie digital it's going to need two more things added to it our pocket over there it has um, just the sewing is the extra so far okay but the two pieces together are one of the abc elements this is our x the x-ray pocket and tag so these are my bases with one item added to each. Um, so coming up with some other ideas, remembering that the tag can open up, maybe we'll put something inside there. Uh, maybe we'll use some of the vellum up here in the corner. I decided not to because I didn't want to put it down with glue, um, but I am gonna go ahead and bring out the dictionary. This might be my product that I like the most so far this year is using this old dictionary that I have. Um, this actually is a piece of dictionary that was in one of my pages from The Gathering. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that to both sides of the tag and um, in different sizes. I love how it gives you texture, um, it also gives depth and makes a difference on this tag. So now we have two things on the tag. Added to the tag, we have the dictionary and we have the tape. 
now it looks like I'm going to bring in one of those flowers. It's kind of exciting that this time you can use everything from your stash. And I did pull out this little stash of flowers and plan to use those in this journal. And so we're going to go ahead and add some fabric tack to the back of that flower and put it down on our tag. And then I'll also be um, getting the bling and putting that inside the center. And I really like how it looks with the little flower up there at the top of the tag. And next we'll be working on the pocket again. Um, we have some of that vellum that is left over. So I'm going to be adding that and also some of the um, backing of the tape. And then we'll add the butterfly for the Dear Julie Julie Digital. And that will take care of more than three things that we'll have added to the pocket. Um, so... I did decide I needed to trim the butterfly a little better around the antennas and so we're doing that and then we're going to go ahead and grab the stapler and attach all of these pieces using the stapler onto the pocket. A great way to keep it all together. So we have our pocket. It has the uh, vellum there, and we're considering that our x-ray. So it is subtly see-through, like an x-ray that you really can't see through it until you hold it up to the light. I did use the dictionary. Uh, again, one of my favorite things to use. Um, added the fun little um, flower with the bling and the tape and the butterfly. So the two pieces together give us our element, which is the x-ray pocket and tag. And so it does take the two pieces together to be able to get that. And I'm going to show you another way to make your x-ray pocket. And that is using a uh, privacy envelope. We have so many new creators or crafters here and some of you might not have the vellum or um, or just looking for an easier way to do this. So using a privacy envelope or an envelope that has a window, um, you can go ahead and utilize that window. I'm showing you here with a tea bag, which also would give you that murky look like an x-ray has. Um, and you can go ahead and put that in behind your window and that would make a great x-ray window. And then of course you still need to decorate it with the three things and the Dear Julie Julie digital piece and also make a tag that fits, um, that shows through the window. So your x-rayed item shows through the window. Of course, you could add your quilted one if you were making this for something else or a second pocket. So there you go. There's a look at our tag. The pocket is there on the table. Both of them have at least three things that have been added to them. So they will be my finished x-ray pocket with tag. Now, I do have a blooper, but right now I'm going to say, have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Well, my son called, and while he, I looked at this, and I was like, it could use a couple more things. So I added a washi stamp. I added a little piece of this, um, this ruffle edge that I have, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to add a little piece of this edge also to the side of my pocket and that way that will give me a little bit more room in my pocket and um, it will also give a little bit of ruffle that I'm going to be using. I made these a couple years ago and I'll be using these little ruffles. Um, they're made out of the sari silk scraps from um, Amore Fabrics and um 
So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and then I'll just cut the edge. Okay. So same, you know, it's we're just we're just upgrading it a little. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue down here. Um, just because I don't want to see the white of of that pocket. Okay, so now my pocket is this thick. Okay, so it's this thick. It can go in. I'll still set it up so that it goes in. And that's what I have for my final, my final um, tag. Now remember, I also, I have this that opens up. And so I can go ahead and add in some notes in here, um, possibly from up here in my, my stash of goodies. Oh, looks like we've got, we've got this. I think that this is what I'll add. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, put that down, and I'll just put some glue across it. Okay, so putting that down, and by adding that little topper, that makes it more of a tag. I think we'll go ahead and we'll also go ahead and um, do this to the two sides. And yeah, I like this. I think it looks much more finished, and um, there you go. Okay, so there we go. Uh, that'll be really pretty in my journal. So um, my x-ray pocket and tag. And the three items for this was sewing. Um, this, uh, the tape thing, there's my digital. And we've added some fabric here. And then the extras for this, the tape, the book page, the washi, the flower, the bling, and the fabric up here giving us that fun little um, tab tag topper. Okay, so there you go. We're really done. Thank you so much for being here. Have an amazing day. Bye. Bye-bye.